Ewing decided it was time to expand and set up a real office. He hired his old buddy, Charlie Hughes, and headed downtown. We moved out of our basement to the first location, which was at 4215 Truth. It was 12 feet wide and 40 feet deep, with a hardware store on one side and a used car lot on the other. And that was our first real office space for Marion Laboratories. I was the fourth person hired. There were three people that were in the office on 42nd and Troost, which was about 800 square feet, I think. We had a small, not much larger than a, than a clothes closet uh, lunchroom, but we had a refrigerator in there, and I had to keep uh, the beer supplied with a, a little cash uh, box, and it was 15 cents uh, a beer. And after 5 o'clock, why, guys would go in, sit around a little table, and have a beer and, and chat. That was kind of creative time. One person would come with an idea, the other person would try to improve upon that. There was sort of a banding together of those individuals. That's why they grew strong. One of Ewing Kaufman's first business innovations was to eliminate the term employee. We started using the word associates back in 1952, meaning employee, because I think it has a better connotation. I wouldn't want to be employed by somebody else, but I'd be happy to be associated with them in achieving goals, both for the company and for myself. Calling people associates really meant something. We put a lot of pride in that. We always referred to ourselves as associates. I don't think we felt like we were just somebody that went in and clocked in and clocked out. Ewing Kaufman protected his associates with two fundamental principles. The two basic philosophies of Marion Laboratories were those who produce should share in the profits. The other philosophy was treat others as you'd like to be treated. It is the happiest principle by which to live, and it's the most intelligent principle to make money. <laughs>